Hello, and welcome back to the Calm and Connected podcast. I'm your host, Janine Halloran, and today's episode is about my reflections on a recent documentary that I saw. It's recent to me, not recent to people. I'm one of the, I love watching documentaries, but it can take me a little bit of time to get to one. So this is one I really wanted to watch. It was Won't You Be My Neighbor? So it is all about Fred Rogers and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So I grew up, I was a Fred Rogers girl. It was one of the things my mom would let us watch. She was very strict with us in terms of what we were able to watch in the afternoons, but we could always watch PBS. That was one thing that we were always allowed to watch. And so my sister and I often watched uh, watched Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood together. I, so I wanted to see this documentary. He was kind of an interesting guy, and I wanted to see what he'd really get an understanding of more of the background of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood and understanding who he was. And I started watching it. I, it was one of those things. It was part of my evening routine, you know, as I talked about in a previous podcast about my evening routine. I like to watch TV. So I was starting to watch this show. And about 10, 15 minutes into it, I thought, I have to stop because there are so many good things in here about self-regulation and about feelings that I really want to use this for work. And I want to take notes on this, but I can't do that because it's not part of a relaxation routine for me to go and get settled for bed. So I'm going to pause this right now. I'm going to put on something else, maybe Inspector Morse or something like that instead. But I wanted to watch this later. So a few days later, I got I took some time and I watched this documentary and I kept finding myself reaching for my notebook and scribbling down the words that Mr. Rogers said. There were three big takeaways that I took from this documentary. And it was just so powerful to see what one person could do, the impact that one person could have on the social and emotional growth of an entire generation of kids. One thing I didn't realize before I started watching this is that he did a lot of work with some really heavy hitters when it comes to child development. He worked with Eric Erickson. He worked with T. Barry Brazelton. He worked with Benjamin Spock, all on child development. And that is where a lot of his influence comes for creating Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. He wanted to give a voice to kids, to be able to explain tough things to kids, to explain that it's okay to have feelings to kids. So let me tell you about three of the quotes that I absolutely love. The first is, feelings are mentionable and manageable. And this reminds me of the work of Dr. Dan Siegel, all about helping kids name it to tame it adult helping adults even name it to tame it if you name your emotion if you are able to put a label on your emotion it helps you manage the emotion and so mr rogers was saying the same thing feelings should be talked about we should be explaining and talking and expressing our feelings and not only are feelings mentionable things that we should be having conversations about they are able to be managed it's not that things can overtake your body and you and it's out of control and you can't figure out what to do that's what coping skills is all about you can manage your feelings you can figure out how to express your feelings in a safe and healthy way i absolutely love that quote and i just keep mentioning it wherever i can so you might be seeing it pop up in other places the second quote is children have deep feelings just the way parents do just the way everybody does And our striving to understand our feelings and to better respond to them is what I feel is a most important task in the world. This is huge. To be able to help adults understand that kids feel things in a big way. Kids feel mad. Kids feel frustrated. Kids feel anxious. Kids feel stressed. Just like we feel that they feel it. And sometimes it's their first time experiencing it. So that's got to be a little bit strange too. They have no idea what it is. Maybe kids can feel a little bit overwhelmed with all of that. And so what's really neat is to be able to help adults recognize kids feel things too. And those feelings are just as valid as yours. And, And those feelings are just as big and need to be paid attention to. And the third and final quote that I love is, the most important learning is the ability to accept and expect mistakes and deal with the disappointments that they bring. And this is, again, 
you know, I feel like Mr. Rogers did so much work that we're continuing to talk about because this reminds me of grit and resilience and being able to manage when things don't go well and learning from mistakes. People won't learn everything right the first time. That's just not how life is. You learn from your mistakes. It is disappointing. And again, that's mentionable and it's manageable. You can feel disappointed in something. You can feel upset because it didn't go the way you wanted to or you didn't get the grade that you wanted to or something happened with a friend. It's okay to have made that mistake and it's okay to feel disappointed about it, but it's all about then how do you take a step forward and keep moving on? How do you keep, how do you repair something if you've made a mistake? How can you work to fix it, to make it better? and then be able to step forward. Those are huge life lessons that Mr. Rogers really did talk about with us and really was thoughtful and careful about mentioning on his show. So if you haven't watched Won't You Be My Neighbor, I'll find a link to it and put it in the notes below so you can get a chance to watch this fabulous documentary all about Mr. Rogers. If you like this podcast, please feel free to share it with your friends or your colleagues and please rate and review us in whatever podcatcher you listen to that would be great it helps us get found and then one last thing please take a few moments take care of yourself and have a little fun have an awesome day 